Welcome to Medicine Medicine. Today we will be discussing a topic regarding surgery and the topic for today is Pott's Puffy Tumor. The interesting thing that you need to know about this tumor is that it's not a tumor. Yes, it's a misnomer. Pott's Puffy Tumor is a diffuse external swelling in the scalp due to subperiosteal pus formation and scalp edema. It was first described by an English surgeon, Sir Percival Pott. It mostly originates in frontal region and is characterized by osteomyelitis of frontal bone. The osteomyelitis could be a result of direct infection or hematogenous transfer from site of bacterial infection. Causes of Pott's puffy tumor are chronic frontal sinusitis where the infection might separate and extend to subperiosteal region, trauma and chronic separative otitis media. Let's talk about some of the features of Pott's puffy tumor. It could present as a boggy swelling in frontal region, which is painful, and it also presents with periorbital swelling, purulent nasal discharge, and the patient is kind of toxic, drowsy, and ill-looking. Investigations to be carried out for diagnosis of POTS puffy tumor are listed here. Total leukocyte count and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, both of which are increased in level and signify infection. You can also perform X-ray of skull, CT scan and MRI. An axial CT scan is shown here which reveals subperiosteal abscess in frontal region. POTS puffy tumor is a rare diagnosis which means not all frontal swellings are POTS puffy tumor. They could be trauma, primary osseous tumor and Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Because of significant bacterial involvement in formation of POTS puffy tumor, it is necessary to diagnose and treat the tumor on time. Otherwise, it could lead to complications such as osteomyelitis of frontal bone, intracranial abscess, epidural abscess, and subdural empyema. If the abscess fluid is cultured, one can see significant polymicrobial growth with the most common causative bacteria being Streptococcus and Staphylococcus aureus. Other bacteria could be Haemophilus, Enterococcus, Pseudomonas, and E. coli. Treatment for POTS puffy tumor is drainage under anesthesia that abscess fluid needs to be drained and then proper use of antibiotics. If the abscess has extended to cranial cavity, then neurosurgical decompression needs to be done. Similarly, in case of osteomyelitis of skull bones, radical removal with reconstruction of skull defects should be done, which is a major and serious type of surgery. We hope we could help you a bit. If yes, please like, comment, share and subscribe.